I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a power supply for a PC. A uh, client brought this one in for it was inside his PC that he said like it sounds really horrible at night and it sounds like a grinding noise coming from the fan and they just want to replace it but we do offer an option to repair it and you can, uh, you can do it at home if, by watching this video. You can remove the noise from this one. I'm going to show you step by step how to open it up and how to repair or lubricate the fan in here or even replace it. Just make sure you follow the video exactly the way I tell you, otherwise do not do it. Because you, you get a high chance of the electrocuting yourself or giving a, uh, not an electrocuting, it will give you a nice talk because the capacitors in here, they do uh, hold a big uh, load of charge. So we're gonna get into it and we're gonna get it started. First thing first, I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one, a good screwdriver. I'll be using an IP screwdriver set. Uh, from this tool set, we're gonna use a Phillips number one. Whatever bit, screw bit that you need for your opening this one, usually they use a Phillips number one. So before we open it up, I'm gonna power it on. I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna show you guys how to test it out without connecting it to a PC. So there, I plugged it in, I powered it on. Now this is, has an RGB on it, so yours might not. So you want to grab these 24 uh, pin connectors in here. Yours might be colored just like this. If yours is not colored, it's all black, doesn't matter. I'll show you the for both of them. You want to grab a tweezer that has conductivity on both sides. Okay, not a plastic one, a metallic tweezers. Or you can grab a clippers, just make a U on a clippers and just and pretty much we're shorting it out. So what I'm going to do, we're going to find out this green cable right in here, if yours is colored. And then we see beside it, there's a black cables right on the side, on the left and on the right side. So what you want to do, you want to shorten the pin on the green one and with any of the neighbor cables, with the, the left or with the right cable. You want to shorten it out just like that, put it in there, and the power unit will start working. All right, there's, it, it cannot give you any shock, and it, it is a 12 volt, so this is safe to work in here with no problem. So right now, my microphone is not picking it up. It has a really nice grinding noise coming through here. So I'm gonna record it with my phone. So you hear that noise coming from me. It's really annoying when your room is really quiet. That's really annoying. So what are you gonna do first? Now, and this is for the colored 24 pin. Now, let's say that you, yours is not colored. You wanna count where the, you have this hook right in here. You wanna face the hook facing you. From the right side, you wanna go one, two, three, four. The fourth one is the green one. So. You want to shorten the fourth one with the third or with the fifth one. So if yours is all cables are black with most of the power supplies now. So you want to count with this jack connector facing you. And you want to count from the right. One, two, three, four. Then you want to shorten the fourth one with the fifth. Or the fourth one with the third one. That way you can power on the power unit, power supply. All right. Once you remove it, it will just shuts down. All right, we're gonna disconnect it. Now that we disconnected, there is still some power left in the capacitors inside the power unit. We need to discharge them completely. So once it's disconnected, you wanna grab this power stop, the same connector, and you wanna shorten again. And just shorten it up and leave it there. Just leave it there while you're working. So before you open it, leave it for 30 seconds if you want few seconds does the job, but if you want to leave it for a few more seconds. So this way it will discharge all the capacitors inside the unit. So there's no uh, risk of uh, getting electrocuted in there. So I'm going to leave it right there, connected. Now uh, we're going to remove the top part. We are going to look around. Yours might have a screw on the side in here. I don't have any screws on the side. So I'm looking for the main screws which are further away right in here. So I'm going to remove this screws. This one has a screw right under this uh, label. So you might have to rip a label to remove the screws. 
So go ahead and remove the screws. You do not need to remove the screws for the fan yet, so leave those ones in. Once you remove the four screws on the top corner here or on the sides, depending your power unit, you want to grab a cutter and you want to cut through this the papers right all around and you want to lift it up separate it like this on both sides very good now walk it around and it is kind of dirty and we can separate it now we can see right there these are the two capacitors that they hold a lot of charge these are the same uh, capacitor that they use inside the taser to tase you these are 200 volt each there's no ampere in it, so it's just pretty much voltage. All right. Now we can see the fan right in here. This is a 12 millimeter fan. All right. So I can see this fan comes the cable to the board, and I can see it is a jack right there. So I can pull this cable out, and it will get disconnected. Yours might not have a jack on it, so you have to work with the fan while it's plugged. So you just have to be connected like this. So I'm going to disconnect mine. I'm going to flip it over. We're going to remove the screws for the fan. I like to put a workshop towel underneath. So. Oh, they have a little washers here to separate the fan a little bit. I don't know why, but all right. You can buy a new fan if you don't want to service yours. You can just get a new a uh, Noctua fan, but make sure it has only two cables and you can just connect it in there. If yours comes with a cable with no headers, you can just cut them, put a just solder with a uh, red with the red, black with black, positive and negative, and you can put it in. But if you want to save some money, you can just service it. So we're going to remove these risers. All right, now that we have the fan, we're going to look at the back of the fan, we're going to see this label. You want to lift up the label, so grab it from one corner and just peel it off gently. If yours just did cut this out, the model for the fan, you don't have to get the exact same model. It has to be a, has to be a 12 volt fan, 12 inch, 12 millimeters, I mean. Next, we're going to grab a tweezers. And at the back, we're going to see this rubber cover here. We're going to puncture through that rubber cover and we're going to lift it up so that's your rubber cover once you remove it and down in there i'm going to see that there is a little c lock a uh, plastic c lock that plastic c lock is right there this white one right there has a little cut in one corner you have to find that cut that it has right there is not noticeable there and you want to lift it up Separate it together. So I'm gonna zoom in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a two tweezers so I can work better so you guys can see. So we are gonna try to open up this C lock. So I'm gonna separate this C lock. And I'm gonna push the fan that way. Trying to open up this. There we go. So, so this is the C lock I was talking about. Let me see if it's gonna focus. Has a little cut to one side. So pretty much you have to open it up a little bit. Once it's opened up, let me see. There. Let me open it. There. Once you open it up, and you can just drop the fan on the other side. Just don't lose the seal lock. And there's a little plastic in here, washer. This plastic washer, you want to clean it up with an alcohol. You want to put it back on. So now we have the fan and we're going to clean it up. You're going to grab a one sheet of the workshop towel. I'm going to use an isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol. You can 
use any type of alcohol that you want and we're gonna just clean the inside of the fan just make sure you remove all those look at this hair is inside there's another plastic washer in there and there's a whole bunch of the hair coming out with it look at all those hair but we do need this plastic washer but there's a whole bunch of I hope it's not a pure hair. All right, there. we're gonna remove this one and we are gonna dump the rest of the hair out. Right, and then we're gonna keep cleaning up the fan a little bit. Put an alcohol in there and clean the rod in the middle. We're gonna make sure that the old grease, everything is done. You can take the fan outside and clean it up nicely if you want. As you, I'm just not gonna waste the video time in here. So once I clean that one in there, you can grab a Q-tip. Grab one Q-tip, soak it in an alcohol, and you wanna clean the inside of the where the sea lock goes. Make sure it's nice and clean. And clean up this side. And remove any hair or any dust that is in here too. All right, now that we cleaned it up, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this first washer right on the pan right there. You have to improvise, not all the fans have these uh, washers in there, stuff like that. So I'm going to grab a 3-in-1 uh, oil lubricant. You can grab a motor oil lubricant, any type of oil that you like. All right, so I'm putting one drop right in there. And I'm going to put drop it right on the fan. I'm going to do a few turns in and out, so it just pretty much lubricates. Now it sounds much better. All right, now we're gonna grab this washer right in here and we have to dump it right in there. All right, the C lock, you wanna grab the C lock, you wanna put it right on top of this, and then gently you wanna grab from the side, wash it while I'm holding the fan from the other side so it doesn't go down. I'm pushing the C-lock, it's going to open and it's just going to close itself. There you go. Once it's in there, all you want to do, drop one drop in there. There you go. That's more than enough. And do a few turns, left and right. And you want to grab a little alcohol. Just clean the top portion and grab this rubber, put it right on top, so the oil doesn't come out. There we go. If you want to, you can put the sticker back on, but if you don't, it's okay. You can grab a foil tape, put it on top, because this one is not as sticky. It can just get ripped and it just go all over the place, but mine is kind of sticky still. I'm gonna put it on. There we go. All right, now that we lubricated the fan, cleaned it up nicely, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put the fan, make sure the orientation for this one, because the cable is kinda short. It has to sit like that. So I'm just wanna make sure the cable is right in place. So I'm gonna put these screws. I don't know why mine has these risers for the screws, but I'm gonna put them on. Yours might not have it, most probably. So I'm gonna put this one. It's very, very rare you see these washers, like a risers for the screws. But these are the cheap brand uh, power units, so I'm not surprised. All right, 
So let's grab this one here. And we are going to screw it, just grab it a little bit. And the bottom one, the other side. All right, so we're going to grab the power unit. We're going to push in the connector. All right, grab the fan, put it in there, and put the four screws for the cover. I dropped one screw right in there. I'm going to open it up so I can remove that screw. There we go. You don't want to drop a screw right in there. All right, now let's put the four screws and we're going to power it on and we're going to check the sound right after this one. Let's get the power unit cable plugged in. Oh, okay. It just turned on, so yeah, so I'm going to. All right, so let me. Record this way, it sounds like a fan just blowing air, so it's not doing anything else. All right. In my phone, it might pick up a little uh, noise, but this is absolutely, I cannot hear the fan noise, just blowing air. I can hear the air go, sucking in and coming out, just a normal noise that comes with the pressure of the air, but there's no more grinding noise, anything like that. I'm just gonna put after or before noise so you can, can listen to it. Again, uh, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys to service your fan for your power supply. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.